This is the agenda for this evening. So I'll let you take over. Let's see where they go. Oh. Oh, okay. We're down All right, call me in the water. roll call. Okay, so my second. Pass. Okay. Welcome to guests. Welcome. No, we don't have any guests this evening, so that's okay. Okay. Topics. Follow up on what I've held. Well, I'll tell you what, what I think, and you can, you probably listened to it too. They've got a board member, and so they're kind of going slow because she's not really up to speed on the process of what they've done. So, so I was made a decision on the last meeting because I had something going on, a family thing going on. But the one before I did, they still had a rooster, and she and the and. And the, the neighbor was still recording every time the rooster crowed, sending it to the board of health. I'm sorry, they should have gone over to that person right. after that first initial visit where they were told that the rooster would be taken away, taken the rooster away. And put well, it you know what I think they should do, actually? This is my opinion. I think because it's a nuisance, they should they should have a they should enforce it by finding him. If you find him every time he got a complaint, or every second time he got a complaint, or every third time he got a complaint, and the fines increased, you get rid of that rooster in a heartbeat. But if he didn't, I think they have to have a fine system on the books. I it. think so too. Yes. But they could they. I mean, it's been what? How long? A year? Literally over a year. year. It's been over a year for these people. You think in a year's time they could have wrote up a, a, a law and had it put passed that you know for every every noise nuisance you're going to get fined fifty dollars and it goes up fifty dollars for every they just they have brought up the finding thing, but they said no one can follow up on it. They don't have. Uh, yeah, they can't. Right, they can't do that. They don't have the board of health doesn't have the authority to do. That. Well, then go in, but I take your rooster and put it over a band of shoes. Well, the, the problem with taking it, my, my first, I think they said, that's the ones, yeah, they said they're going to take it to Maple Farm Sanctuary. Yeah. The problem is, is if you take away someone, <laughs> you're taking away someone's personal property. And that's, an, to me, that's an issue. There has to be a law to back this up. Because what if someone gets a complaint about a car all the time? The guy's doing his motor all the time. I'm always making it's four o'clock in the morning, revving his engine. It just happens every day. Are you going to take his car away? You can't do that. So, so why, what science is important? Yeah, so why so can't they pursue? Right, so why can't they pursue the board? Well, I think the board, the Clinton. board of selectmen needs to get on there. Anyone can create a law and put it, put it up for a vote in the town. Anybody can do that. Well, they, they, these people tried to do kind of that, and then we kind of intervened. In it wasn't a law prohibiting all roosters from town. What they should do is write up a, a nuisance law that has a fine system. And then, I don't know, maybe it would be the police department that actually gets them to pay or pay it. We're all good. Yeah, we're all good. So I, 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 don't, I don't know. We could probably figure out how to But in the meantime... If we wanted to go straight away, I mean, if the, I mean, the greens must be. I think it's no longer really the green. It's the and Mass. I want to say it's yeah. like Mass. Richard, are are the um are the roosters still a problem over there? Are you hearing them every night still? No, not. And I heard from uh, the person on Twenty Neck Hill Road that just recently it stopped because they had got rid of a, a rooster and then they were still here and crowing and i guess it was a young rooster and now they got rid of that rooster also so okay so it looks like it may be working a little bit with the board of health over there yeah it's quiet right now thank you oh, thank you for your help so it might be it might be working out then yeah can i just correct something too Yes, we weren't trying absolutely. to eliminate roosters. We were trying to limit it to three acres. 
Oh, okay. So it wasn't to get rid of ruses, although I'd like to do that, but it was really just to, I'm sorry, it was just to limit right. it to three acres of land to have one. Right. So, yeah, we could have worded it. I think we could have worked with you to word it differently, and then we would have supported that. But if it ever comes to that, if you don't get satisfaction with the with the situation, then we can always look at addressing that some way written if you if it really is an issue court of health really doesn't follow through we could work on it but then have the wording where it would fit more appropriately for because there's a meeting coming up in november okay three acres if the roost is loud whether it's three acres or two acres, right where it is it, it's it has to do with the location of the coop in relation to the abutters so, I mean, there, there, there would be a, a, a better way to, to write uh, a, a law to keep people that, that are responsible hobbyists for, for, you know, and to have and to be a good neighbor. But um, hopefully the Board of Health is going to resolve this soon. So. Doesn't sound it. And if, it, if the problem does come back, let us know. And, and if we have to do it, we're going to write something up over for the next meeting. Yeah. And get something in books. Yeah, thank you. You know, I think you all understand our point was the noise. The noise oh, yeah. early morning hours that would wake you up and you couldn't go back to sleep because the rooster was crowing all the time. It wasn't roosters, it was just the noise, the nuisance of having a bird crowing all the time during yeah. the waking you up. I understand. Well, I'm glad it's resolved for you so far. We are too. Thank you. And thank you, <laughs> the whole commission, for your help. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, is there anything else we need to discuss about the roosters? Or do we want to? I should just follow up. And how do you want to follow up with the Board of Health? Do you want to just attend another meeting? or Maybe an email sort of thing. Well, I think we can bring it up. We we can we can shoot an email, but what what's just what what's, what's what your, do you want the email to say um, generally? <laughs> what is your plan life? going forward? Oh, has it been resolved? Has it been resolved okay. with was it eighteen B or whatever numbers it was? Has it been resolved with those? Oh, just so generally, has it been the problem been resolved, and what what happened for to make that resolved? So we can find out what they did. What will be their plan going forward? On the right. Future and okay. If this is a problem, and if yeah. they're if they're going to take over the nuisance part of like noise and other pollutions and stuff, where are their guidelines? Okay, so you're kind of offering help. Help. I, I don't know if we want to go that far, but let's just find out. Let's go as far as just asking them if they feel it's resolved and how they got there. And, and it, what the plans for the future are, because they should be, if they get another nuisance complaint like that, they should be coming to us right away so we can mediate. So I think if we had gotten involved a lot earlier, it could have been, it wouldn't have dragged on this long. So, okay. All right. I'll take, I'll follow up with that. All right. So I'll email the board of health. All right. Is that it for the I think the Board of Health wanted to have like a general they noise they want to do thing. Right. Yeah, so they're not going to, well, they're it's not going to stop an animal. Right. You know. right, so they want a general nuisance thing. Okay. Yeah, which is very big. You know, so yeah. the rooster's just. The, 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 rooster, the rooster's kind of been the tipping point with all this. I mean, I know a lot of people that have complained about you know, construction noise mm -hmm. next to them starting at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. Yeah. Excuse me? You know, I could be lucky it wasn't next to me. <laughs> and there are noise ordinances. Right. I don't know. Are there? I, mean, I don't know. I, no. I looked them up. No, but it's just a, big, no, it's it's just a general anything. kind of a state. They refer to a general state. Yeah, so there is a state. noise ordinance. So... <laughs> Um, and you know, and this town is not. And I mean, really I realize that, that regulation that firms of, or 61A properties yeah, are exempt. exempt, right? But we need to. So if this 
All right, so let me just let me just send them an email, ask them what they plan to do and how we can help in the future. How's that? So the, the last meeting that I attended with the they were they kept bringing up yeah, registration for all animals. No, that's no, that was several meetings ago. Yeah, well, yeah, the last yeah. one I attended. Okay, um, that was a while ago. Yep. I mean, I definitely if they want to go that route, I would not like that idea. No, they're not. They're not going to go that way. They really want to be just a general nuisance thing. They're not. They really don't want to regulate animals. That's not what they were. Nope. Because then we're back no, to not, not, down. No. The, the new the new thing. board of health. The new board of health member um, is very pro animal. She's owned animals in the past. Um, so I, I don't think they're going that way at all. Yeah. It's, I mean, back when we were putting the. Right to farm act together, and that one was saying, Oh, you need to have two acres for each horse. Hello? No. All right, are we done with this? We can move on. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so uh, why are uh, suggestions? Oh, yeah, Richard, yes. Yeah, just a question Does anybody know how many chicken coops there are in town? In uh, does no. anybody inspect uh, them? No, because they're not they're not they're not regulated by the barn inspector. The only way you would know this even the state would only know if if the owners wanted to show the roosters, then the state has to come in and do a pylorum uh, vaccine or something. There's a test they have to do in order for chickens and follow to leave their property and go to shows. So then the only state would know, but there's no way for the town to know how many people have chickens. And, and uh, the only ones they would know about is the people that are registered to sell eggs because they have to have their oh. vaccines to you know, sell eggs, right? Okay. Um, no, I didn't think so. No. Oh, really? I've never heard that. No? So it's not? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll have to read Thank you. That. So now, thanks. Ready? No vaccines. It's the, they have to be tested. The, yeah, uh, okay. yeah, send it to us. Yeah, send it to us. Because interesting. How many places around here, though? Well, there's, bunch, there's at least 50 places in Bendon Company that sell eggs. Yeah, I mean, Ali Fabricati. Yeah, I have the, uh, you know, and yeah. chest at the side of the road. Oh, yeah, let's not open that. Yeah, let's not open that. I don't, don't, don't want to come back. I don't want to. Not on tonight's agenda. <laughs> we can put it on a future one. Liar. Suggestion of responsibility. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we were going to. So Kat and I typed up with the board health suggested to us that we should give some guidelines to people that want to own roosters and chickens. So they can be responsible and good neighbors. So I think Kat and I wrote something up, but we have to, before we can put it live on our web page on the town web page. Guys, we did something out this was like over a month ago. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, this is this was a while ago, and we need to look at we need to vote on whether we do that. We can't. I can't just go to Dan Byer and say, Hey, Dan, put this on there. You guys have to vote on it. this. Mendon is a right to farm community and follows best. Farming practices for the growing of crops and keeping of horses, livestock, and poultry. <clears throat> I'm a fish. No. We all we ask all residents first and foremost to be good farmers and neighbors. Beloved, we will find some useful information to apply to your to your ownership and keep each rooster is required to have at least 10 square feet and their confinement for their best comfort. Rooster needs to be fully confined in a sun, sunlight, noise dampening. Examples of this would be a wooden coop with air vents and shuttered windows. The rooster needs to be confined in a coop from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. to reduce noise pollution to all neighbors. The coop should be at ideally 125 feet from all the budding neighbors' residences. Ideally, one rooster per resident. Regular removal of accumulated manure. And if you are experiencing a rooster problem, please contact the Bendon Ag Commission. We are here to help. 
forgot to. After Ag Commission, there should be a. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grammar police. Okay. Huh? Grammar police. Well, that's good. That's my. That's my weakness. Will this be on our AgCom page? Yes. Okay. So every committee or board has a, their own page, and there are little. We have little tabs. You noticed on the bottom left, and I can have Dan put what put that a title on there. You know, like. I, what, what, what's the title? Whatever the title is. Rooster best. Yeah, rooster best practices or something like that. That's, you know, or rooster ownership or you know, some, what, you know something. What do you guidelines for rooster ownership? Yeah, that's fine. Guidelines. Yeah. All right. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So I do that for just about every type of animal. No, I think it's there. No, no, that, no, 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 we're not going there. No, so, so we need to take a vote on this, don't we, Mr. Chairman? I would say yes. yes. I'm in favor of putting this on that town. Okay, oh, I second it. Okay, so it, it passes. Everyone's in favor. Okay, so we're going to do that. So I can have him update our website. Right. So what's next? Next would be the uh, road right. sign for the right to farm it. Yes. Now, months ago, you know, when you may have talked about this, you said I should contact Alan, which I did through the town website because that's the only way I know how to contact him. And I never heard anything back. So what do you guys want me to do? We will have to reapproach him. It's not a vacation commercial. So. All right, so you want me to send an email to the town website? But if you town send email, email, I can't even yeah. access my email. Yeah, but he's the head of the department. I would imagine if he's not accessing, he has someone that does. Secretary. He, doesn't. he has a secretary oh, that will do that. So I will re. Okay, so I'm going to re email him. Uh, and what's his name again? Alan. Uh, Alan. Okay, and what do you want me to say, kind of generally? Uh, size so we're, of why we're going to pay for the size, yep. right? So the the Capcom, uh, is financing the right to farm road signs. I could put an attachment that shows what we're looking at for. Yeah. Right. What's the size? We just need to estimate on the cost so we can get money. And um, whether we can get. Our own signs made, or we have to go through. All right. Okay. Field. Yeah. So the questions are: Does he make signs, or have a company that makes signs? All right. Uh, does the what is it called? Highway Department. Yeah. Does the Highway Department make the signs? No, oh, I think they go through the DOT. Oh, probably a thousand dollars a piece if they go through. If not. I know they just have presidents making. Uh, how would we print them? And what what did you have a general size that you wanted to do? General we, size. I think we need to see what they would approve because they're probably not. When we went to it. no, when we went to the select, when we went to the board of selectmen. They said go for it. Talk to Alan. He knows what's best. Hook them up. They didn't really. They were happy to do this. They, they just did. They didn't care. They just wanted us to take control of it and do it. So, if you wanted a simple one that like a tractor that just said Menden's the right to farm. Is that what I can't even remember what it was. And, uh, and was then, yeah. I think it was a tractor that said like right to farm. This was another one that was for Jonah Hans. Oh, yeah. So, you guys want something like that? I mean, it's very plain. Or, and that's fine. Yeah. Well, the one we had came up yeah, you need to send me an ex someone needs to send me an example. So, oh, so this is cute. So, yeah, that's that's, that's the one you want. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so I can share that on the screenshot. All right, so I'll save that. Perfect. So I'll send photo. Uh, all right, so 
contact you to the highway department, ask them if they make the signs or if we should find a way to make them. Make the signs. Send a photo of the sign. And how long should I wait for to before I start calling them? At least 10 minutes. <laughs> So I'll follow up with a phone call in like one week. How's that? Yes. Like one week? Yeah. I can always call the number of people voice now. One week. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so how are we gonna pay for this? We didn't we really didn't talk about are we are we, uh, ask so, oh that's right. We want to ask him what the cost would be. Yeah, yeah that's kind of what it is. Did he ask people if they wanted to sponsor? I don't know. It's a fair number. I think they thing. Yeah, I think at the fair. Well, I didn't end up getting a table. Sorry. Can we join you? End up we didn't do, anything. do anything. Okay. What, well, what are you going to do? What are you all going to do? I may not be here. But... Oh. And, and I, I have it. the Lake Association. And I have, have to do, do And I have to do from, I don't know, what are the hours? At the fair? 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Damn. I mean, I can sit down. Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to make a table at Peter's or are we having? Well, yeah, I have to be there for like three, three and a half hours. No, it'll just be something. We'll put a table. I have to do the cultural council. I got roped into doing the cultural. I, I am do, I'm gladly doing the cultural council. I'm doing the cultural council table and I am splitting the time between the other members. So I, have to, so I have to be there for half the time. Um, so you only have one on the book? No, we have two. We're doing two twos and twos. So two people are doing it, and then I'm doing it in the afternoon with with uh, yeah. So Um. So what do you want to do? You want to? So really, what the fair people want? We really should be collecting money because we haven't no, opened up revolve. Yeah. We and we haven't I opened the revolving account. Yeah. So we can't collect money. We can't collect money so that goes directly. No, because we have no way of collecting this and turning, depositing it into our account. You, what the library did years and years and years ago is they have friends of the CAF Public Library and they do everything. Um, Cultural Council has a revolving account, so when we get money, we can just deposit it to the town, into our revolving account. We never developed a revolving account. That's something actually we should probably we look at. And we never did, so let's see. Okay. Revolving account, yes. All right. Um, let me contact the treasurer, right? Treasurer or the were you part of the set the process of getting the cultural no, council? I, no, it was always there. It, it's been oh it's been there well years. But um could do a revolving account or what we could do is if 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 Alan tells us where he gets them printed, we get them printed not through like the state or something. He just have, have donors them. get them printed. Yes, have state. donors get them printed. So we can just say here that you know, just just go to this account, go to this store. There's a printing place in Milford. I haven't used them in years, but when I was selling eggs and stuff like that, I used to have signs that you know, like realtor signs. Yeah, I did signs. Okay, so same thing. So we can say, please go there and tell me if you want one of these signs made up and pay for it. Then we collect the signs. Right. All right, so, let, so let's take one step at a time then. How about, how about let's find out how much they cost and let me find out how to open a revolving account. That would be the easiest thing to do. Would that be meet again after or just before the fair? Yeah, but maybe. Oh my! Even set up a at Peter's, you know, a little table next to Peter, saying, you know, ad commission donations appreciated for signage to. Well, how oh, about how about how about instead of taking donations, how about we put out a sign sheet for people interested in people interested in sponsoring a sign. Rather than taking their money okay. and getting their information yeah. for one of the Okay, we're gonna make that simple. All the people that came to my farm for our Owen family, they're all home. Okay. Well, we have all their emails, so you can explain all their issues. Okay, so I think After we got all their signs. All right, so I think the most important thing to do then is not worry about the money now. So, what we 
going to do is get all the information from Alan and get that all lined up, all the information, how we do it, how long it's going to take. I'll look into the revolving account um, and then and then we can take it from there, because that way, if people want to send checks to the to the agricultural commission, we'll have a way to deposit them. Because I do have to do depositing of the checks and all that with the agricultural council and how, how to them to cut checks and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know how to set it up. So I will get in touch with someone. I think that's a big priority. The road sign is setting up the revolving account. So um, I think those are the two big things that we need to work on. Oh, plus we have to get the sign, the, the, the little on the our sign on that come. Okay. All right. So, so kind of the booth and the kind of talked about that. I'm not sure. Like, we just bring up your reality. It's mostly out of town. I know. It's not like, it's not do they like, still do that awful petting zoo? Sorry. Actually, I don't think that got retired. Really uh, as far as they're pulling up back behind the barn. It's the only location. Really? Behind the barn. Before they built the new school there, we used to hold four shows and everything. Yeah. That last fair they had down there was good. It was nice. I know. It's a shame that Mendon doesn't really have a place to do this. When they, when they revamped the Cox farm house house they were going to take that barn and that land there and, and turn that into some kind of a public park area and i don't know whatever happened to that other yeah. the barn gee and now they burnt it down yeah then the land never got mowed or anything or turned into a open space yeah. for people to use so that's a shame gee too bad we couldn't take over the driving range We don't need a All right, so are we are we kind of toward how's the agenda going, Peter? Very good. Next meeting. Oh yes, when you want to meet. So you want to say it before the no, I think yeah, yeah. yeah, so we have to yeah, we can't do it that soon. So today's the 15th. So one, two, three, four. Do you want to meet in four weeks or no? That would be that would be pretty soon. Wanna meet like the 20th? That would be like five weeks. I don't know if I can do Thursday. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think the, you know, you have such an active social. No, I really need it, actually. How about a Tuesday, the, how about the 11th or the 25th? 25th. Really? You like that far away? Well, so that, because so that's, I have a That's like meeting. a month away. Oh, no, I don't have a meeting on the 11th. I don't. It's on the 11th. Oh, so what? Yeah. yeah. So let's do Plus it's October right after so, yeah, the, Okay, so our next meeting will be October 25th. And that's fine because we don't have, I mean, I don't see these signs happening super, super fast because I think the biggest thing is the revolving account. And, um, well, the road signs. We could get, I mean, that's something we could get going. Yeah, I mean, we can get them printed and all that, and then, but well, whatever. But the, it really depends on the revolving account because we need to be able to handle the money that people give us. So that's the big thing. <laughs> I don't think it will be hard getting that set up. Do it. The town is used to doing that. So, all right, so we're going to meet October 25th. You guys are all happy with meeting at the library? It's, it's super easy for me to book this place. Yeah, I have to work with all the other committees and find a place and all. I mean, last time I tried to get to town hall, I could. We got bumped so many times. Yeah. It's crazy. But we love okay. And seven is is good. Or you guys like to meet earlier? No, seven's fine. Seven. All right. Okay. Just want to make sure. Earlier, I mean. <laughs> All right. Um. So, do you want? So, what else is going on? It's grass. Oh, right. it's do, do we want to have this officially a part of? Our yeah, or do you want to close the meeting? Or you we, want to we, we were asked. Were we talk about it? Okay, so let's talk about the rats. Okay. Okay, the mice and rats. Rats, rodent, we'll call it rodent control. All right, so what's the latest scoop on the Jokes about control. Yeah, but it's not just affecting London. 
It's affecting it's Hopedale. Hopedale. Yeah, no, it's it's affecting Hopedale. I mean, it's all over the place. My right. my realtor in Auburn, they I guess they're having an immunization right now in Auburn because of the. Oh, I have a friend in Connecticut who who farms, and she says it's awful at her place. I mean, it's just it's terrible. Over the next month, it's going to get real bad with the rats trying to get inside. I know. I have the water buckets sent up in my basement because they're coming. I don't even have animals and livestock anymore, so, but they're coming in my house weekly. Every week, I'm, I mean, I'm cleaning them out, and then they're coming right back in. So I the think it's a thing you can do. Well, the problem was, is last year we had all the acorns, billions of them. It was like walking on rocks at my house because I had trees everywhere. And then we had the drought, so they all came inside. But how do you stop it? Is any hole in your foundation mm -hmm. that is the size less I even know. less than a dime? But steel wool. Steel wool. I know. But I, I don't know. I've tried. But that's something that we can tell people to do at least. The only yeah, way it's still, I mean, they're still there. Everybody feeds the birds. Right. And yes. It's definitely yeah. better. There's more of like a town-wide solution to the rat problem. And the only way to do that is to get people to clean up everything, all their dumpster areas. Outside, giving them a but even day, even open sheds, you is, know, that's, the rats at my place, they'll eat the manure. Yeah, you know, and they'll eat goat manure. They'll eat alpaca manure. You know, so it's it's and a difficult problem. Dropping some like grain shed. Right, and you can't recommend poison because then that kills the raptors. Because then they eat the mice and the rats, and then that kills the. Well, unfortunately, at farms, I have to eat poison because. They could, I'm sorry, rats are called vermin for a reason. Well, yeah. As a, as a personal household, you can do that, but as a town solution, they can't do that. Yeah, they right. can't recommend that. That would, that would be bad. Could eagles and mendants eat one? I mean, that's, well, I've got mouth on my hawk. Yeah, okay, I see. So, I mean, yes, I, I'm caught between a rock and a hard right. place, but right. I can't no, have the rest. Yeah, no, I you understand. Know. The, there were times I used it too out of my barn, but I prefer not. I, I prefer not to, but but I was into I somebody know, was put on the bulletin board. Oh, because these ultrasonic things. I've tried those; those don't work. They don't work. Moth laws don't work. Nothing. No, steel wool works, but if you're I mean, in that holds about it's still, you know, totally, totally yeah, and if you're in an older house, there's no way you're going to plug up every darn hill. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, I so think, I think you want rat point, you take a three inch pipe and use your, you put the rat and you wire them together because a single block they can carry off. Right. And it, it can be kind of secure. Right. And, and that, that works pretty good. I see people put put them up into a bucket of water and then they pump them up. Yeah, I do, the bucket of, I do the bucket of water and there's a, there's a, um, Rotating thing, put a little peanut butter on there. Yep. Turn off the ramp, hit, hit the twirly bar, whoop, twirl, so you get about three or four of those swimming around. They don't last very long. I do that in my house and I'm getting mice. Well, my grandson said that one of the best things you can do is capture a rat, put it in a bucket, and then, you know, semi starve it. Right. And then let get a rim, and the other rats will come after them, and he will attack because it's so cannibalizing. So. All right, so there's, like, hey, so there's nothing we can recommend, to be quite honest. I mean, we, I, we could say that, 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 hey, make the bucket trap. Every fair bit. Watch people make the bucket trap, maybe it'll... I don't think it'll be no. We tried that, but they did not fall for it. We had them everywhere, those chipmunks, so they did, but they're still, they're everywhere. So but unfortunately, works. they're not, well, they're, 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 not, not, they're not native to America. They're Norwegian, right? I used to have a fox that would come in every, like, other year or so, because they, they have, and, and, but my fox disappeared. I haven't seen them for I a haven't long. seen them. I haven't seen them so long. long. I think somebody heard you there. Because it used to come in and, and then it would do an excellent job getting all of the mice 
My rabbits are even gone crazy. I mean, I have so many rabbits that just sit in my backyard this far away and like, like, it's like they, they don't care. They don't care. Right? I used to have a fox that would come in, clean the whole place out. For like, in two years, they'd stay and then he'd be gone. I, he wouldn't be there for a year and then it would come back. I you can find fox at all. Who is, he can attest. He has caught four mice in my house. I'm like, Thomas, dear yeah. God in heaven. He doesn't kill you know, he kills them, but he doesn't yeah. eat them. Oh, yeah. so well, so eat them. Thank you, Mom, for feeding me all the time. Here's a present. So there's nothing, so there's nothing that we can really recommend. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, there's no risk. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, Unless you get, get a JRT. I think most farmers know enough to put their feed in rat proof containers. And you know, but so what about rats can even chew through? Plastic. Oh, really? Galvanized? I never had to chew the galvanized. I remember one time I opened a bucket and there was a mouse in it. I grabbed my barn cat and went, here, <laughs> close the <laughs> bucket. Yeah. All right. All right, anything else? How's your, you saying, leave it, what are you going to do? I, nobody's. Are we going to close the meeting? It's always walk Are we going to close the meeting? All right, I make a motion to close the meeting. All right. I second that. All okay. in favor? Aye. Aye.